Do you have a minute for God? If you are a follower of Christ, please copy link and share this video to plant the seeds of the gospel to save more souls. Today I'm so excited to share with you the promise of God that has the power to radically fuel and strengthen and amplify your walk with the Lord during the trials of life found in James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, for once he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This passage reminds us that there will be pushback, setbacks in life, testing of your faith. You will be shaken and see if you will remain in the solid rock, in the walk path with God, and if you will continue trusting in the Lord. And sometimes you might feel like you're all alone, everything is against you, and the weight of your shoulders is so heavy. But James reminds us that your perseverance, your steadfastness in the Lord, it will not go in vain. It will not go to waste, because having stood the test, God has promised you a crown of life, an everlasting reward, because you have loved Him and obediently followed Him. And imagine, you're standing before Jesus, and He is the King of kings, Lord of lords, and you're hearing Him say, Well done, my good and faithful servant as he places a crown of life on your head and welcomes you into his father's house, into the kingdom of God. This crown signifies royalty, authority, honor, and victory. Victory over sin and temptation and distraction of the world. Your faithfulness to the Lord will be honored. It will be recognized as you are elevated above the angels of the heaven. In heaven, it will be a place with no more sorrow, no more shame, sin, death, it will be an everlasting gift that you will be rewarded with eternal life by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, faithfully following Him in obedience. You know, temptation and distraction, they have temporary rewards and it makes it look so small and fleeting because it's not going to satisfy you forever. But the crown of life, that's a reward that's way bigger and way worth it. It's so worth it and I want us I want to invite you to accept the crown of life because there is a greater reward that the world that the world cannot offer you that only Christ only God can offer you. That's why this knowledge of the crown of life should propel you closer into a relationship with God and he will equip you with several gifts to sustain you and to go through the trials of life to receive this crown of life. You know, it's going to be faith in Christ, joy in the Lord, endurance under pressure, wisdom from God, and someday the test will be over and you will receive the crown of life. And to receive this, you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen. Many blessings.